What do you think, Minister? Call a full-scale invasion alert, sir. I'll phone the forces, fighters, frigates, foot sloggers. Hmm. Perhaps that could all be a bit showy. I think this is a job for real men. Stop right there! Stop! I think you'd better kill him, Barry. Jeez, he could be Minister of Works or something. Ah, he's moving too fast. Poor bastard has got to clean that up. Jesus. the bits of brain in a plastic bag, Barry. We'll need them for analysis. No bloody way, mate. You can come down here and do that yourself. You're the gung-ho scientist. Oh, all right. I'll be down straight after lunch, but at least take a blood sample. No need. I'll just wring my strides out. Oh, well, at least we got one live specimen. Yeah. Seen anyone else about Barry? No, the place is completely deserted. They're probably all dead. That's at least 75 people. Jeez. I just hope we're in time to save the world. Well, I just hope you got it right this time. No doubt about it, Barry. I've been watching the skies. And do you know what the skies did? They pointed. They pointed at this place. Can't aliens be friendly? There's no glowing fingers on these bastards. We've got a bunch of extraterrestrial psychopaths on our hands. Like a... Like a visit from a planet full of Charlie Mansons. 
they've wiped out a small town for starters. It's my guess they'll go on to something bigger next time. Christchurch, Wellington. Auckland? Yeah, well, that wouldn't be so bad. Well, you'd better contact the others, Derek. They should be in range now. And you'd better tell them to keep an eye out for someone who could be heading this way. Who? The collector. There's some appeal on. There's envelopes stuck on all the doors, and today's collection day. Hey, there's something that's just occurred to me too, mate. What's that? That joker you topped a while back. He might have friends. I'd keep me eyes skin if I were you. You needn't worry. I'm not stupid, thanks. <laughs> Music for headbangers. Frank, Ozzy, are you there? Yeah, we're here, mate. But could you use a proper call sign? There could be people listening. There's nobody for miles, Frank. Besides, I don't think whispering's gonna help. He's got a point there, Frank. What do you mean nobody for bloody mile? I thought you were in Kai Horror. I am in Kai Horror, and I was right all along. They've done the entire town. Who's done the town? The extraterrestrial low-lifers. And guess what? We've caught one of our bastards. Me and Barry caught him loping over the hills this morning, just like he owned the bloody place. Huh? Now do you believe me? Jeez, look, dear, just keep him there. You got him secured? Bloody oath. Right, now don't touch him. We'll be there in 45 minutes. And look, whatever you do, don't harm him. No physical violence. And another thing, dear, keep a careful lookout. There could be more of them about. Well, there was, down on the beach. Hell, well, look, don't go near him. It's a little late for that now, Frank. What? It wasn't me. Barry shot his head off. He had the magnum. Uh, I knew it was a mistake to issue weapons. We're a government department and a paramilitary unit. Yeah, the Astro Investigation and Defence Service. Wish we'd change that name. Due to the potentially dangerous hazards involved. All right, all right. At least you managed to convince the minister. <laughs> Aren't you interested in this joke we caught then? Of course we are, Derek. Right. Stay where you are then, and I'll give you an eyewitness description of this intergalactic wanker. Well, 
Well, I would describe him as sort of human shaped. He's got jeans and a blue shirt on. Oh, Christ, he's named the bloody farmer. Yeah, but there's something strange about him, though. Like he's got a screw loose or something. It is a bloody farmer. <laughs> yeah, Derek strikes again. This isn't going to be another false alarm like the menace street invasion alert, is it? Well, how do you explain the disappearance of an entire township then, Frank? Oh, the Kiwi Jonestown, of course, that's it. Drinking beer laced with cyanide from little polystyrene cups. Mm. Yeah, yeah. OK, Derek, just do me one favour. What? Try not to make him extinct before we get there. Out. Christ, what a dog. How the hell did he get in this team? extraterrestrial language. Now, in case you don't want to do what you were told, I can always encourage you by hammering this cold steel into your fibula. It'll sure poke a nasty hole in your marrow, mate. Well, get the old ball rolling, eh? Now, what are you dirty who is doing on my planet? Count of ten. One. Two. Three. Six. Seven, eight. Nine. Ten.
that. Derek! All right! Quickly, Derek! Come on! Yeah, look, geez, Barry, you've got awful timing. What? Just listen to me. You've got to get out of there fast. Five of those blue shirted freaks are coming up. They heard their mates screaming. Taking precautions. Oh, shit.
going a little bit over the top, was he? Nah, this'll do the trick. Nobody will be coming out this road. But the newest nuclear reactor's in America. Yeah, but it could have been an explosion on one of those Springbok warships. Frank! What's he? Frank! What's he? Come in! Yeah, what is it, Barry? Jeez, you guys! We're in trouble this time! Derek's wiped out five of these alien jokers. The place is like a bloody abattoir. Well, where's Derek now? Well, uh, he's, he's turned his toes up, guys. Took a dive off the bloody cliff. He's popped his rivets. <sighs> Poor Derek. Who's going to look after his Avery now? Yeah, booze were the only thing he could relate to.
Ask my wife to not to die. Hey, do you want to do yours? Hey, Frank. Yeah, what is it, Barry? Where exactly are you two? About five miles from Kai Horror. Yeah, well, just stay put. I think I might have spotted something and I'm moving in closer. Finished us? We've got trouble. Good one! Right, we're on our way. I suppose you're wondering why you're soaking in Reggie delivered secret herbs and spaces. Mm. Tomorrow we're having you for lunch. <coughs> you're the exotic new taste sensation. Human flesh is it. You are going to be the first bit of meat that we've had a chance to get our teeth into since we arrived. So, we're going to treat ourselves to a feast with you as the main cause. <laughs> Quite an honor, really. <sighs> We'd better leave so we can get some sleep. I'll have the edge ridge. I want to suck his brains out. <laughs>
Office. Get reinforcements. That'll take a day. And a rest. Take two days to do the bloody paperwork. Yeah, and by then that collector bloke could be dead. If he's not already. Look, go on. After my knock. about his personality disorder. Open season on ETs, Frank. Remember, Ozzy, get in quietly, get out quietly. Well, I certainly hope that is the case. Undercover, we have to remain faceless. Oh, I get it. Just in case we kill a lot of innocent people. 
Don't you forget, Oz, we're only authorised to use violence when there's a threat to the planet Earth. And the moon. Yeah, and the moon. There you go, Oz. Stick this stuff on. We ought to have a look around. If these are aliens, they might have parked a spaceship somewhere around here. They might have come in a telephone box. Well, let's just get that guy out. Then we'll try and contact base and give them the code words for invasion. The bastards have landed. The bastards, bastards have, have landed. landed. impress upon you the importance of remaining in human form. No matter how awkward, uncomfortable and ugly it makes you feel, we are so close to success that we must take no chances. for Nalik Nod with six of our co-workers in a state of permanent death. They died today, murdered by some real arseholes. Robert escaped their clutches and reported back to me. to the Neelig Not Fast Food Authority. Isn't it amazing how you could fit a whole town of humans into a few cardboard boxes? If you slice off a fat, it's the value of keeping your knife sharp and your mind clean. Jesus, guys. Derek was right. This is what's left for the people from Kai Island. They're in those boxes. Get him, Barry! Tricky slaughter operation has been a real credit to you. 
and indeed to the whole Crumbs Country Delights organization. Your paychecks will reflect the gratitude of the company, I can assure you. I don't think we'll have any more trouble. However, we will be handing these around later. <laughs> I am certain that when the Homo sapient taste takes the galaxy by storm as it will, Crumb's crunchy delights will be back at the top. McYabalo's fried boob rats won't know what hit them. All the livestock we need are right here. Four billion of them. Right, Robin. Once the Fast Food Authority have checked the samples, and issued the mass slaughter permit, this grotty little planet will tremble under the full might of the Lord Crumb restaurant <laughs> chain. Within a year, a giant mince will descend from the sky, the sun reflecting from its silver bits, and no army on Earth will be able to stop the naughty murder machine. <laughs> Burgers and chewy homo nuggets. Get out of here. Good night, boy. Night, Reg. Oh, what a lovely little mossy.
least we got on quietly. Stay here. This one's gonna be beautiful, eh? Yeah.
Come on. Bit that clear the sinuses. That's another beer you're in my eyes. Go that way. You reckon? Too right.
hell's Barry?
Good, Frank. You go on. I'm gonna go back and stop those bastards. We're supposed to be going for help. You go! Besides, you're not gonna be back in time to stop them. Come on. head office. Hi, my name's Giles Copeland. Yeah, I'm Barry. Let's go. Got another one here too.
think I might. I don't smile.
Yo, this one's for all the rejects that feel like they need the fact Check me, fact check me, the techniques let the steel flex Never whack with me, whack with me, call me 10th wonder I ain't released the fucking beast yet Ripping bone apart, tearing the meat from the flesh Conquering killers like Attila with the Napoleon complex We introducing that new and improved shit, no excuses John Steele and Igor fighting on fight for dry mutants, so abusive